This conference, I'm, I'm representing UFRO and giving a couple of papers. Uh, one has to do with, with two different projects uh, that UFRO has been involved in. One is on uh, traditional knowledge, traditional forest knowledge. Uh, we completed a, uh, a six-year uh, program of uh, conferences and, and publications relating to uh, traditional forest knowledge, its relationship to scientific knowledge, and the uh, policy and management um, implications and uh, and relationships there. Okay. And the other, um, the, the other piece of my work here has to do with a recently completed uh, global forest expert panel assessment on um, biodiversity, forest management, and carbon, and it's uh, in, in relation to the red developments. I think one of the one of the big uh, possibilities, and I think it will be achieved, is the uh, to foster greater communication among research scientists and their institutions within the entire Latin American region. Um, as you've probably seen, there's, there is representation from virtually all um, country, or many, many, many countries in, in Latin America and the Caribbean. And an event like this really helps to foster that kind of. Uh, collaboration, you know, between countries, between institutions, that's, that's very valuable, both individually and collectively. Sure. You know, we hope that the work that we do, uh, you know, the work that I've been engaged in and, and other people's work, uh, you know, ultimately benefits, benefits people. And one of the things that, that UFRO has been increasingly active in is in various policy processes, whereby we, you know, we, we've we're trying to position ourselves uh, principally as a, as a member of the Collaborative Partnership on Forests, like like C4 and and ICRAF. Uh, but we like to position ourselves as a as an unbiased uh, source of technical and scientific information for uh, for global forest and environmental uh, policy uh, debates.